Welcome everyone back to Shenanigans with Mr. Jones. I am Mr. Jones and um, today we're doing something a little different aside from our normal scheduled programming, which is barbecue. And we're taking a venture off into something that I just got. Um, I forget what today is. But today is like Tuesday or Wednesday, something like that. Um, a few days, uh, close to a week after Thanksgiving, just a few days after Black Friday. And um, I picked this thing up on Black Friday online from Sam's Club. And what this is, is a Vizio 4K Smart TV. Um, 65 inches, the D series. Um, 4K Smart TV, like I said. And now uh, what we're gonna do, and this one is just unbox it and do something called an overview because I'm not gonna review it until I can give you guys some information on what it's about, what it's like, and the user experience. So, this one we're just gonna pop it open, get a lot of boxes, take a look at it, go over some of the things in the box, and then that'll be it for this one. And then uh, pretty soon here, we're going to go ahead and mount this to my wall as well. So you guys stick around for that. Um, but hey, here we go. wrapping off of it we got the little protective pieces off of the sides next what we're gonna do is pull this box off now typical unboxing would think that you get a box cutter or a little knife like I do you cut along the top and you pull the TV out of the box that would be incorrect for this TV not sure how the other TV larger TVs are but most TVs that are 55 inches now come with a unique style of unboxing and the way that Vizio wants you to unbox it, both they have a video on their website plus instructions on the box of course. But the way that you want to unbox it is you got these clips down on, on both sides, front and back. Um, but in the corners here, you got to pinch and pull those out. Once you do that, the top box ought to lift right off. Okay, of course you would be careful if you have two people. Definitely use two people to do this so you don't damage the TV. So the way that these come out, is it's in there just like so. You gotta pinch these two pieces, like so, and pull them out. So let me do that another way so you can see it. So it's in there like so. You pinch and pull out so that it opens up. And they just come right on out. All right, so real quick, this may look like this is the back of the TV. This is actually the front. On the box, it tells you which is the front and which is the back. Uh, um, so right here inside the box, as you can kind of see, taped on here to make sure that you don't lose it. You got a little quick start guide. Nothing on the back. So I definitely want to hang on to this. Got a power cable. Definitely want to hold on to that. Also, got yourself a simple remote with some AAA Duracell batteries. So it's a pretty nice touch. We'll take a closer look at this here in a little while. Um, that's removed off the top and the sides. Um, the next step would be is to take off the screen protector. We're not gonna do that yet. Why? Because I guess I wanna mount this CD on the wall. So what's gonna happen is I'm going to place this onto my couch with the screen protector on it to protect the screen. And while we're doing that, we're gonna get the, the wall mount on the wall. And then the next time you see this TV, it'll likely be coming out of this sleeve 
and then going onto the wall. Or you know what, we're actually gonna leave it inside of here. After that's probably the safest place for it. And then um, we're gonna get the wall mount attached and all that stuff so that um, we can hang the TV, obviously. So then um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I thought I'd go ahead and share with you guys the wall mount that I'm using. This is an Atlantic wall mount. Um, it holds a 37 to an 84 inch TV, up to 132 pounds or something like that. Um, I got it off Amazon and um, it had some good reviews on it. So hopefully, um, I don't have any issues with it, but of course if I do, you guys will see that in the Walmart video. So, we got the TV out of the box. We got it all unwrapped and all that other jazz. And now we have it mounted and hanging on the wall. By the wall mount that I have just a video on. If you wanna see that, you can check that out. Um, so what we're gonna do, is I can't really show you any content, because that would be infringing with the copyrights and stuff like stuff like that. But we will kind of go through the, the process, the startup process, and just kind of go through some of the apps. Um, like I said, I can't show you too much, and also this is just the overview. I'll give you guys a review of it sometime, maybe a few months from now, after I've had some time with it, and kind of figure out what I like and I don't like about it. But uh, you guys stay tuned for that, and here we go. Um, that was the startup process of the TV. I'm gonna say that some of that is probably dependent on some of your um, on on your uh, the speed of your Wi-Fi. Um, where, where I live at now, the Wi-Fi sucks because the company that the only company that offers Wi-Fi in the area is extremely slow. That company is Central. They're the only ones who offer internet in this area. So. That's the startup process. Like I said, we we're gonna kind of go through some of these little items here they got up here. Um, like I said, I don't know everything, but here's some of the stuff. Obviously, you can watch some of these TV shows or movies or whatever they got down here. Of course, you got Netflix, Prime, Watch Free, which is kind of interesting. We're still kind of trying to figure out exactly what that is. TV, aside from TV, so to say, and it's all free because it's with Vizio. So that'll be something to check out here in the Coming days, you got Hulu, Voodoo, iHeartRadio, Zumo, YouTube, YouTube TV, CBS, NBC, then then go CBS, and etc. You guys see all these things that are on the bottom. I'll just keep going. You guys can see all those, and then that's it. I guess you could download some more by going to that. Of course, I have something that's covered on the um, on the review right now. We're just doing an overview right now. So um, so far, this is my kind of my, my initial thoughts and opinions on this TV is number one. This TV is awesome. It's huge. It's 65 inches. Um, I haven't seen anything in 4K yet. I can't speak to the 4K-ness of anything because I haven't seen anything in 4K yet. I am going to try to look for something in 4K. I know Netflix offers the ability to watch things in 4K. You have to pay $3.00 every month on top of your already uh, on top of your subscription already so I think it's $10.99 right now for Netflix but it's the standard one so to get everything in 4k it's then becomes $13.99 so 14 14 bucks just to watch 4k Netflix and that's assuming unless I hear otherwise that's assuming Everything on Netflix is in 4K, and last I checked, not everything is filmed in 4K. Not everything is even fully filmed in 1080p and HD. A lot of stuff is still filmed in 720p, and a lot of stuff is now coming 1080p. So, unless, like I said, unless that's changed, last I checked, you're not going to see everything in 4K. It's just being kind of upscaled to a upgraded version of 1080p, but a downgraded version of 4K. If that makes sense. You can do more research out there on your own to find out more about that. That's kind of what I've learned. And so, 
you know, like I said, you got these little options down here. We'll go ahead and log into Netflix just so you can see that. Of course, you got these here. Got your shows and whatnot. Okay. And uh, of course, you can keep going to scroll through everything if you want. Um, we're not going to go that far. Um, so, and, and this is all under the smart cast, the video smart cast. This is all. All this, the apps, all this stuff you see here is all compiled under the Vizio Smartcast. You wanna watch Pop Up Girls? That's your thing. I'm not gonna judge you. But like I said, you got all this stuff here. Um, like I said, we'll get more into that. Um, but as far as the overview, you guys clearly see this team something that I like off the bat. As you guys see these these bars that are hanging off the bottom of the TV, for whatever reason, Vizio decided to make this. TV monocle, of course, but the way that it mounts is if you were to divide this whole TV into thirds, let's say one third, two thirds, and then three thirds, right? The whole mount portion, those four screws, are literally about right here in the bottom third of the TV. So most TVs that are mounted are usually typically somewhere in the center of the TV. You need to figure right here, right here, right here, and right here. Or however, but it'd be centered to the center of the TV. This TV has in the back of it, it has a ledge that kind of comes out and it pokes out a protrude maybe an inch or two um, away from the back side of this uh, panel. And on that there protrusion are the four screws in order to mount the TV to a mount that's then hanging on the wall. And um, the reason why these are hanging out is because the safest way that I figured to get it on was to have that the mount that came um, from the company that I got it from was have it mounted this way and it causes these pieces to be poking out of the bottom. You could do it another way and not have these bars showing at all, but then you run the risk of literally the TV being mounted on about gay high of mount and it being this being the bottom of the TV or this being this amount and everything else not being mounted on mount. And that, it just felt sketchy. It still feels kind of sketchy now, but obviously it's hanging and it's not creaking, it's not crackling or making any freakish noises. So, until something happens, it's gonna rot. And so, um, yeah, so I, I like that. Of course you see that. I mean, that's, it kind of sucks, but at night time you won't see it. If you're watching something that you're really interested to, you're not gonna see it. So, but that's that. Um, I do have, like I said, you won't see any of the wires hanging down because of the house that I'm in, it has an in-wall um, system for the cords. So all of it's coming back down below. You guys can't see it because it's all on the TV stand that I have the other TV on. But essentially, I love this TV so far. Um, nothing negative um, except the, the, the mount system. That's the only thing that I can find so far. But other than that, um, Thanks for watching this video. I am Mr. Jones. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions or ideas, go ahead. You know what to do. Drop them down below and we'll get to them. We'll get talking about it. Um, until then, you guys have a safe one out there and have fun. Bye-bye.